hello guys uh, welcome back to my channel maison african motives in this platform we shall be focusing on uh, the question paper which is uh, on friction yes for engineering science and three so that's a question that you're going to be working on so if you're new to my channel you can consider subscribing so that you won't miss any of the classes that you shall be having from maison african motives okay so the first question that you're given uh, on 4.1 is to state three principles of kinetic friction okay we have three principles there of kinetic friction okay so let me just try to adjust uh, back um i'm having these principles are uh, actually like i explained before guys that i do not want you to have these uh principles or definitions like uh, a step away from uh, the what the department wants you to answer these questions so that's why i actually give you is they give these answers okay so that's uh the independent of speed it is independent of speed depends on the nature of the surface in the conduct in conduct and independent of of size of area in contact and proportional and perpendicular to the normal force okay so these are the principles just you choose any of these uh, from these four so that's what actually the department like wa want you to answer these uh, this type of equation yes you can have some of the principles that you can obtain from internet and so on but let's try by all means to have something that they actually want you to write okay then we are given that a casting with mass of 0.2 tons rest along on a sloping surface uh, forming an angle of 25 degrees with the horizontal the coefficient of friction is 0.36 okay then calculate that um what are we having actually here this is uh, a casting that we are given which is a uh, we are given a mass of 0.2 tons and it's on a on a slope something like that so this is uh, something like this okay there's an angle of what of uh, 25 degrees there so that is the angle and uh, we are given uh, 0 0.2 tons but remember we are supposed to work with the um, mass because this is a mass in tons we are supposed to work with this mass in kgs so tons to kgs you multiply by a thousand okay so if you multiply by a thousand you're going to obtain 200 kgs okay so this is supposed to be 200 kgs okay so remember the the diagram is just like this uh something like this we know these guys um here we are going to have uh, fg and we have the perpendicular component yeah something like that so this is going to be your perpendicular component uh your parallel component uh, the frictional part and uh, that's your fn and your fg yeah something like that okay so that's what we actually have in this case so and we're given the coefficient of friction which is uh, this one the coefficient of friction is 0 0.36 okay so it's going to be 0 0.36 so from this diagram that we have uh, the question that we have is to calculate the component weight of the object perpendicular to the surface okay so the one that is perpendicular to the, to the surface is this f perpendicular so the perpendicular component is given by this formula so this is 4.21 uh, the perpendicular component is going to be is actually uh, supposed to be like this supposed to be mg cos theta where this mg is like uh, actually the weight so it's supposed to be like w cos theta then from the w now that's where we have mg okay cos theta like this okay so we can substitute the m which is the mass now this one which is a 200 kgs in kgs 200 by the gravitational acceleration remember the gravitational acceleration is 9.8 so it's going to be 9.8 times cos theta which is the angle that is uh, between the incline there which is 25 degrees okay so guys uh, are yeah, here i want you to use your calculator properly you must obtain something like one seven seven six comma three six three newton okay so just uh, make sure that you use your calculator properly and make sure your calculator is in degrees okay your calculator must be in degrees okay so that's what we had and the other question is to calculate the parallel uh, the weight component which is for the parallel part okay so the parallel part uh, this is the one 
this parallel part here which is equal to mg sine theta okay so f parallel this is a the parallel component is going to be w sine theta so from w sine theta that is where we are going to have mg sine theta okay that is the mass you substitute the same thing the mass 200 by the gravitational acceleration 9.8 by sine theta which is the angle of contact of 25 degrees okay the angle of contact of 25 degrees so uh, just like what we did from the previous part here if you're going to use your calculator properly you're going to obtain 8 to uh, that's 8 to 8 uh, please make sure guys you use your calculator properly here uh, two newtons like this this is what you're going to obtain okay so that's uh, 4.22 when you are asked to calculate the component of the weight uh, of the object parallel to the surface okay then take note about this question here it's the friction force between the casting and the incline take note the friction force okay so we need the friction force and this is the friction force this one that's your friction force on now okay let's let's just write this down so we need the friction force okay so this is 4.23 okay so the friction force we know that uh, actually we can since we have the coefficient of friction is going to be the coefficient of friction multiplied by the weight cos theta that is what we are going to have in this case so what are we, what, what are we saying in this case w cos theta uh, remember w cos theta that is uh, what we are going to to have as the normal force here so this one multiplied by the coefficient of what of friction you are going to have uh, this because remember if you are uh, if you are to make this coefficient of uh, friction the subject here we are going to have the normal force over the friction force like this okay so this is where you're actually taking this from you make uh, the friction force the subject this is uh, now the friction force which is uh, actually we are just substituting here which is the coefficient of friction times the w which is uh, mg cos theta okay but we have this value here of mg cos theta remember we calculated this uh, on item one okay okay this is on I this one mg cos theta this one we calculated this on item one so it's actually a simple substitution that you're going to do you substitute the coefficient of friction which is 0 0.36 okay multiply by this part here which is representing actually this is representing the perpendicular component okay that's the perpendicular component so you're simply substituting 1 7 7 6 comma uh, 3 6 3 okay so that's what you're going to to have in this case so if you multiply properly guys you're going to obtain something like a six three nine comma four nine one newtons okay so w cos theta yeah that's w cos theta which is the perpendicular component not the normal component what not this one the perpendicular component sorry that is the perpendicular component not the normal this one the perpendicular component okay so yes that's the perpendicular component there okay so that's what we had and uh, the last question is usual you know this question they always ask you they can ask in the smallest or they can ask you the largest okay so this one they ask, always ask this one the smallest force required to move the casting down the incline okay so the smallest force that is required uh, on 4.24 this is a 4.24 is uh, you can just when it is the smallest force is f down when it is the largest one is f up so f down is equivalent to the frictional force minus the parallel component so it's either you are adding the parallel component or, or you are subtracting okay when it is f up like this it's going to be the frictional force like this plus uh, the parallel component okay so that's the formula actually this formula is in the formula sheet yeah do i have the formula sheet with me but is there in the formula sheet if you cross check properly um or try by all means to have the formula sheet next time so that we can actually uh refer this okay so this is uh 
f down so i'm just going to sub substitute here because i have these values the frictional part uh, frictional okay force the frictional force here i have it because uh, no this is the parallel component i need the frictional but uh, if we calculated this frictional force the previously and we obtained something like six six three nine comma four nine one you know, this is what we obtained yes i have i have it here yeah this is what we obtained this one okay so this is yeah that's our frictional component this one not the one that i was uh, showing there so now from this information that we are having i'm going to subtract the parallel component and we obtain this that's the parallel component that was the the one that i just missed and i missed it now but it was eight two eight comma three three two okay so we'll combine these two you combine but as you can see this is a, actually a smaller number and this is a bigger number so you're going to obtain negative one eight eight comma four that's eight eight four one comma eight four one newtons okay so that's a negative there that the one that you're obtaining so it's the frictional force minus the parallel uh, component which is uh, actually from the formula sheet they are going they use this as fs yeah they are going to use as this as fs here yeah. so like i said uh you must also know how to apply the formula sheet how they ask you uh these questions and how you attempt these questions uh using or, or applying the formula sheet you must be able to also uh, do that okay so that's what we had guys uh, from Amazon African Motives, working on engineering science for the moment. So make sure that you subscribe if you're new so that you won't miss any of the classes that we shall be having for engineering science N3 and also mathematics N3. So that's it guys, till we meet again.